today we're going to talk about subtracting two digit numbers. Now the first thing we need to do is take these numbers and put them vertically, put them up and down. So I have 54 minus 37. Whenever I put them vertically, I want to make sure that my place values are lined up nice and neat. Ones column with a ones column, tens column with a tens column. Now at this point, I'm going to start in the ones column. Now when I subtract, there's a question that I ask myself every single column. And that question is, can I do it? So I'm asking, can I subtract 7 from 4? Can I take 7 away from 4? So imagine if you had uh, 4 cookies. Could someone possibly take 7 of them from you? The answer to that is no. So whenever my bottom number is bigger than my top number, I can't subtract it. And whenever that happens, I need to borrow. So what happens here is I'll have to borrow from my neighbor. So the 4 doesn't have enough cookies to give 7 away. So we go to our neighbor, and we take one package. Cross it off, and the 5 becomes a 4. So we take one package of cookies, and that package of cookies is always worth 10. So the 4 gets 10 more cookies. I cross that off and make it a 14. And that works because the 10's place is 10 times greater than the 1's place. Then when I, after I borrow, I do my subtracting. 14 minus 7 is 7. I go over this column. 4 minus 3, I ask myself the question, can I do it? Yes, I can, because the top number is bigger. 4 minus 3 is 1. So my answer is 17. Let's try this next one here, 28 minus 15. Once again, we put it vertically, making sure our place values are lined up. And I ask myself the question, can I do it? 8 minus 5, I can do that because my top number is larger. If I have 8 cookies, I can give somebody else 5. 8 minus 5 is 3. Done with that column. I move over to the next column. 2 minus 1 is 1. My answer there is 13. And last one here. It's 93 minus 64. 93 minus 64. Making sure my columns are nice and neat li lined up with the place values being lined up. So I ask myself the question again. In the ones place to start, 3 minus 4, can I do it? I can't because the bottom number is larger than the top. If I had three cookies, I could not give someone else four. Whenever that happens, I, I must go to my neighbor and take one package of cookies. So I take one package from the, the neighbor, and then I give that package of cookies to the ones place. That Inside that package, there are 10 cookies. So I add 10 on to the 3, so there's 13 cookies. So I, ma I made it so I can do the ones call now. Now I have 13 cookies here, and I'm taking away 4. 13 minus 4 is 9. And I move on to my next column, and I ask myself the question, can I do it? 8 minus 6, I can. 8 minus 6 is 2. And my answer is 29. So remember, every single column, ask yourself the question, can I do it? If you can, you do it. If you can't, go to the neighbor and borrow. Make sure you take the cookie, the package of cookies first, and then give the package of cookies.